Hello everybody, today I'm with my friend Zach here. And Zach is interested in stepping up his dress game, right? You got your blazer on. I haven't seen you wear a blazer or a shirt with a collar here in half of forever, right? Yeah. Okay, um, so what's the goal today, man? I'm trying to get nice. Right, get some threads? Okay, so let me turn the camera around here. Hello everybody, it's Robert Powers. Four and a half out of my five. My shoe collection. These are made of shell cord. Here they are finished up. I'm not a professional. Look how tight this is though. Very clearly here, I just cut the thread in half. And here they are, all finished up. The goal is to look nice on a budget, right? You know, I go blow tons of money, you know me, you know, right? And you know that I get all this stuff for like, you know, dirt cheap. So you got a nice blazer on, right? And I think it fits you fairly well, you know? Yeah. And we're not, and by the way, what are you dressing up for? What's your goal? To look like what for what occasions? Look nice for a date. Now, I don't have my braids or, you know, I'm not as trimmed up as I could be. Mm -hmm. I didn't have any dress pants. That's something we're going to work on today. Yep, so we'll get that for sure. And then what the crap is on your feet, man? Slippers. What the heck are you? Those water moccasins? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. Like trail running. Uh, first of all, what kind of socks you got on? You have dress socks? Mm -hmm. You have mismatched socks. Oh my god, dude. Okay, <laughs> and uh, I think we have those might be here. So first of all, here's a decent pair of dress socks, okay? And look what I just happen to have that I'm going to be working on here for a future upcoming video. Uh, can you wear a size? What size are these? What's your shoe size, ideal size? 13. How about 14? We'll see. You know what? Hang on one second. Switch your socks. I'll cut right back. Found is almost everybody knows what size shoes that they have fit them, but not everybody knows what their real Brannock size is. So. Oh, sure. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's start, uh, yeah, left heel goes there. You know, let's, let's, let's do it here on the, on the uh, that's your, oh, that's your left. Okay, stand up. Okay. You need to put equal weight on both feet. And then we need to move this, put that like, is that right about on the metatarsal there, right on that widest part of the ball? Yeah. Okay, now stand, just put pressure on both feet equally. And this should be just barely, like barely touching. Barely touching there, right? Yeah, Probably there. Okay, now, it looks like to me, wow, your length, dude, your ball length is only 12. Is it? Yeah. Okay, um, is this right on the middle of that joint though? Mm. I mean, you know where the middle of that, I'm trying to feel where it is on you. It doesn't That's stick right. out. Right. Yeah. There, forward, back. Forward. Okay, so your ball length, because you can have a short toe and you know this part of the foot can be long, uh, but it looks like you actually are 12 in the ball length. Okay, so now I look over here and if I find 12, yeah, about D. Wow, but it says you're more like a size 12. Oh, okay. Standard width as well. Huh. Really... Interesting. You want to try these anyway? Okay, let's see what happens. Yeah, closer. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Your horn. So these actually, that's not these Allen Edmonds. Those are a pair of Kilgore French and Stanbury shoes. They're a little bit snug on me. Those are 13 D. Right. How's it feel? Feels good. These ones feel really good. Okay, you have a little bit of room around the ball, not tremendous amount. Okay. Right, so those would actually work. I don't wear those anymore just because, like I said, they're a little bit too snug on me. You know, her. What size shoe do you wear? Uh, I'm like 11 and a half, double E, triple E. These are snug? Yeah. I don't know why. Those are snug. Wait, just to let you know, these are nice shoes. Yeah, you, 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 off camera, he's like, hey, should I take that? No, no, don't take that. That's actually the label. See that gold embossed? These are Kilgore French and Stanbury. Um, if you look at it, real stacked leather construction heel. Okay, that's not like particle board or fake. Now look at the nailing on that heel there. This is all the way it came. And then you see the partial rubber leather. That's a sign of quality. And I think that actually says, what does that say? Benchmade in England? It says made in England. So if the brand name sounds like a law firm, it's a good pair of shoes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> probably, probably, or they could be fooling you. Look how dense that stitching is though. Like for example, even these Allen Edmonds, the new Allen Edmonds don't have as high density stitching. Okay, flip that over, put it next to this one. New Allen Edmonds are not this high density. And look at that, you know? Um, so, but like I said, just the quality of the shoe, shoe is really high, you know, from that standpoint. But. Look at that, look how much better that looks, doesn't it? Yeah, they're not tied up yet, but you get but, like And this was how much? $20. Now, how many stuffed animals do you have now, kid? I don't know. What, like 30 or 40 something? I have an over overflowing bill. Oh my goodness, kid. Like you needed that, like we needed whatever. Okay, makes you happy. Oh, look at that. Much improved, huh? like a hundred percent better now all right so here we go we are off and we're gonna hit some thrift stores i got a few favorites around here i was just informed by my wife that the 20 dollars for that squishmallow was a good deal by the way they're normally 60 but I'm like all right whatever you didn't 
you know, convince me that twenty dollars for ninety nine <laughs> stuffed animals is a good deal. But this is a numbers game, guys. If you're thrifting, right? It really is a numbers game. Um, so we're gonna we gotta. It's a weekend. Get some time off. We're gonna you know hit a bunch of places, and I'm gonna see if I can video. You're not really supposed to video in the store, so what I might do is just have the you know, phone in my pocket with a camera sticking out. But if I do that, it will be a uh, portrait mode, not landscape. So you're gonna see, you know, black area on the screen here. Hope that doesn't irritate you, but um, we're gonna see what we find today. So I think what first thing is definitely slacks for sure. Maybe a couple shirts, um, maybe a suit if we can find one. But I'm telling you something, man, I'm telling you, I'm a 40 regular in suits. Do you know what your suit size is? You're gonna be like a, I'm just gonna guess 44, maybe four, probably 46 regular, or I'm sorry, I'm gonna guess like a 46 short, okay? okay? Now, what I have found is the really nice suits. Like when I say really nice, I mean $700 and up, okay, full retail price suits. Most of them I cannot wear as a 40 regular, right? Because my theory is the people that are buying $700 to $1,200 suits generally are gonna be people that have high incomes and are generally, you know, probably not in their 20s. They're probably, you know, 40s and 50s when they're making that good income and have a need for those kind of suits. Point is a lot of those suits are in the bigger sizes. I run across a ton of stuff in the 44, 46, 48s that's really nice I can't wear. So I'm hoping that's what we're gonna dig up for you too. Okay. Yeah. Like an Oxford suit or a Corneliani suit or something like that would be like sweet. Yeah, that sounds. <laughs> Here we are now going in the thrift store. So first of all, take your jacket off because then you don't have to hang your jacket on something when you're trying other stuff on. I don't know if you can see here, but I'm wearing loafers. Loafers are the best thing to wear when you're going to a thrift store because then if you want to take your shoes on and off, on and off, you know, obviously loafers are a lot easier than an Oxford or even a Derby, okay? So let's uh, get in here, see what we can find, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is look for a pair or two of slacks. Okay, so here's what you do when, here's what you do when you can't try on the pants like this. So first do that on your waist again one more time. Here, let me hold this. I didn't, last one didn't video. So he's wrapping the belt around him. He's grabbed a belt off the rack, not buckling it. Just line up the tip, right? That's your starting point. And then with your left hand, with your left hand, and now you know that's your waist size. So now we can compare that to the actual slacks. So you just got to find a starting point on the slacks. And then you got to, okay, so now you know, did you lose your spot on the belt or do you know where it is? I know where it's at. You know where it's at? Okay. So now, and just track it all the way around. So that we know that tip of that belt is how big you are. So like for example, it's where did you start? Right. So it's going to be too tight because it's going to be that much smaller than you are, which is. Okay. So I need to go 40. Yeah. So I think you definitely 40 is definitely I think going to be too tight. That's a shame though, because look at that, and this is a pair of I found a nice one over there. And just to kind of let you know here, um, I couldn't really fully videotape inside the store. Plus, we were, you know, kind of focused on uh, finding stuff, and I needed both hands. So you could see this is a row of shirts. And, uh, you know, there's a top and a bottom rack. There's a lot. So he started at one end, I started at the other. And, uh, you know, with the search, with the shirts, you can either just look for a style slash color that you like. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the fabric style, color, feel. You know, I've learned a, a, an eye where I can tell the cheap Van Heusen shirts from the Joseph A. Banks and the Brooks Brothers nicer shirts. You know, then trying to see, hey, are any of them his size range? We were looking for like 17 and a half or 18 shirts, which wasn't easy because there's not a lot uh, in that neck size, okay? By the way, look at this suit. You see it's a double-breasted uh, six-button suit with peak lapels, uh, but look at the brand on the inside of the lapel. This is Burberry. So this is about a thousand dollar suit. Um, you know, they have it marked up really high here though for a thrift store. They want a hundred bucks for it, but you know, still Burberry, um, it, it's interesting what you'll see once in a while. Dude, you got a bag full of stuff there. How much did you spend? 68. 68, okay, that's a lot for this place, but you got what? You got like a whole suit. What else? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll check it out here at home. We'll, we'll show you all. So here are the treasures from today. Let's start up here with the jacket. Uh, this, what, what was it, 65 bucks for everything? Um, I'm, uh, Siani made in, uh, this is made in China, so I don't think this is anything you know, crazy special or anything, okay? Uh, it looks like it's just made to be, you know, made to look like it's Italian or something like that. Anyway, but decent jacket. And this, actually, I was really happy about this. Um, by the way, I think that was seven fifty. Half off. This was seven fifty. This suit. 
Look at that heart shafter marks gold trumpeter, obviously with the matching. All right, I'll try and get this in the light here a little bit. And this is like a navy uh, with a window pane, like a brownish window pane on it. This is this is awesome. That's awesome. And another pair of slacks here, pleated fronts. Um, trying to, I don't even remember what brand it is, but decent, you know, decent looking pair of dress slacks. Izod, another pair of gray slacks. And then what do we got here? This is the Chaps. I think this was five bucks, right? I think those pants were six. Uh, I think these were 15. Uh, belt, five bucks. Uh, this shirt was what? This belt shirt, shirt was six, and I like these jeans too. These are a nice pair of jeans. Jeans were seven fifty, and these are Old Navy. Not too shabby. Let's see some of them on. What do you think, Romeo? Hmm? What do you think? Do you like Mr. Zach's new stuff? Do you? Do you like it? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, love you too. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, enough. Thank you. Right, now look at this. That's awesome. Yeah, that goes together pretty well. Shoes don't look bad, you know. Uh, yep, sometimes, always, never. Three buttons, sometimes, always, never, right? Um, and you can wear that unbuttoned as well. You know, I would just wear it unbuttoned probably. Needs a little bit of tailoring. Obviously, this like the sleeves are a little bit too long. You'll, you'll get that though, you know? But, and there's the slacks. Yeah, that's awesome. There's a little bit of color differentiation, some brown shoes, and you got that belt on. Nice, nice. I like it. What do you I think? Call Saul. <laughs> um, so look at this. So here's that polo shirt, right? You leave that untucked. And I didn't think of this, but I like how the, the, the red in the shoes, those are my old Kilgore French Danbury shoes, and the undistressed jeans and that. I got an idea, though. I have an idea. Take this suit coat, the Hart Schaffner Mark suit coat, put that on over top of it. And watch this, okay? Because that has the window pane on it, um, what you're going to generally find is the, you're going to wear the pants out on a suit before you're going to wear out the jacket, okay? Um, so do you see now? Look at that, you see these, uh, the stripes are kind of like a light brownish color. They read into the pink. I think that works pretty well too. Now we probably need to iron that, you know, but, and that's not too bad. You could use it, you know, yeah, you could have that like that. That's pretty cool. Nice, nice. And finally, look at this. See, I like how that window pane, you know, that, that, that light brown color meshes in with that, that pink. And then also, hey, you got a shoelace untied, but, Pretend the shoelace wasn't untied and look at that with the red shoe ties into the red shirt man look at that you're ready for what did you say that restaurant was you got invited to marble room. the marble room yeah, yeah. okay is that I'll the kind of clean up a little bit yeah okay i like it man that is nice that suit fits you pretty good the sleeves oh you want to open the lapel of the suit jacket open the lapel open it yeah oh, right there oh, this right. this one is the Hart Schaffner Marks Gold Trumpeter. That is uh, probably like a today's value. Like if you got that new today, it's like 800 bucks. And that was how much? Was that 1250, I think? Yeah. Nice, nice. Yeah, 1250. How does that make you feel in this thing? Pretty good. Yeah, it's awesome. I think it's underrated how a suit makes you feel. You know, I think it's just a different experience when you wear one, you know? So that's pretty awesome. Okay, so how does this make you feel, man? So from here down, amazing but i rescheduled my braids appointment i was supposed to get these you know twisted and okay you know i was going to go over to the to my barber then he was going to line me up get me nice and faded get me all cleaned up get me looking right mm -hmm. that's what's bothering me is that I, you know so i rescheduled it because the, there was a scheduling issue and but i, I wish i would have kept it now because you know this looks nice how does it make you feel like the suit part though you know good yeah. so in two weeks when i actually do get done up uh -huh. then, I'll, then I'll feel, then I'll be like, yeah, okay, A1, nice. A1. Nice. So let me give you some closing thoughts here. If you're a man and, you know, especially if you've turned 30, what you'll find out is men start to mature a little bit. Um, I jokingly say that, you know, when men turn 30, they start caring about their retirement. They start caring about their lawn. And I think by that time, you really should have some decent clothes, uh, especially at least, a, 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 you know, a suit or two um, and, a, you know, a few sport coats. A look that we didn't show here, but I love seeing on guys, um, you know, where you don't have to wear a suit is how about a sport coat with either 
either like a knit shirt, a turtleneck, or even just a t-shirt, you know, and then undistressed jeans and some nice shoes. But, you know, I think the sport coat and the suit are very underrated today, especially in this post, you know, lockdown era where people have become even more casual than they were, you know, even a couple years ago. Um, just look at this. How could you not look at this and say, wow, you know, I want to know who this dude is, you know? So I hope you guys got some value as well as some entertainment out of this. Um, and I, I appreciate you guys coming along with our little journey today. Uh, so if you're willing to put in a little bit of leg, leg work and take some time, I really truly believe that you can put together some amazing outfits. Uh, without having to spend a lot of money. And in this case, because of getting a pair of undistressed jeans and two pairs of slacks and already having a sport coat, so buying another one that makes two sport coats and three jackets, you know, he's probably got a good dozen outfits here that he can put together through this. So uh, thank you very much, guys, for tagging along with me. If you've figured out that after you get to about a dozen pairs of shoes, you can bring home more shoes and your spouse may not even notice because she lost track of how many you own, you may want to consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, please hit that like button if you got some value out of this and please share this with a friend if you would. Thank you so much everybody and God bless. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, go to my YouTube page, Robert Powers, and then click on Playlists. And from there, you can go to things such as before and after videos, where you'll find a whole list of videos similar to this one.